everybody so today I am as you saw recently I got a Geiger counter so I'm gonna play around with this today and show you guys um, how the testing goes uh, let's see so a little background reading here it's normally around 20 maybe 30 um, so let's see I have I have just a piece of chert that I think would not really I wouldn't expect it to do much so Let's take a look at it and just see if I can confirm that. Yeah, so you can see the CPM. You can also hopefully see some of the other units there, the millisieverts, um, going up just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Still staying pretty low. That's what I would expect with something like this. Yeah, so not doing too much with that. Now, what I really want to test today though is I had a friend who found some stuff in Utah and they were going through the rocks that they collected and one of them was very interesting to me because it looked, well, actually a couple of them, looked to me like bone. So, what's interesting about this is the region in Utah they were at uh, has Morrison formation, and if, if this stuff is from Morrison, there's a good chance it could be hot. So I want to see what this stuff does. Yeah, so it's already already going up above background level for sure. Interesting. Let's see how high this one gets. Fifty-eight. Kind of adjust here. Yeah, so you can see the difference. I'm glad I did that uh, that little piece of chert there first so we could see clearly a difference. Oh, there. So I talked about, briefly so far, I showed you guys this little Geiger counter. This is a... This is, it's, it's relatively cheap compared to the features and how well it seems to work, so happy with that. Oh, we've got a B. Okay. Okay. So that's interesting, nothing too crazy there, but definitely showing higher than the background. Let's see if we can get a couple of other ones. There's. There's two more pieces here. I don't know if they'll give me any more. That's gonna drop back down eventually. If you give it some time, I think it should. Now that I have nothing there. There we go. Now she's dropping back down. Let's see if this piece does anything. This is another fragment that I was curious about. And then I have one more that actually is the most intriguing to me certainly looks like things that I've seen from Morrison, so I'm really interested in that one. But let's just try this one as well. Try them all. Let's see if I can maybe hold this a little differently here. Not getting anything too crazy with that one. All right, well, let's try the last piece here then. This is the one I'm most curious about. It's obviously, look at that. 
It's a really interesting piece. And I want to see what happens. So, oops. Well, <laughs> I don't even have it held on there right. I'm already hearing clicking like crazy. That's what I thought. Interesting. Okay. Might want to set this one down. I wonder if I can get this. Let me see if I can sit this down and let it do its thing. And we can watch it. Hopefully you can still see it. Okay. Yeah. We're still climbing. Yeah, so I'm pretty confident that this is a... Uh, uh, being that it's from you, there's no guarantee what the piece is since it's not... It was just found in a... Whatever, wash or hike or whatever, it's not... We don't know what it came from, but... Good chance this is Morrison, being that... It's a little, little hot. Are we done? We're still climbing. We're still climbing. Let's see how high it goes. Make sure I didn't get off of it there. So we've gone to 1.09 millisieverts, almost 170 CPM. 1.0. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. So there you have it. That one is an interesting piece. We've got something that has. A little bit of radioactivity to it there, so yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be lo I'll be looking at some more stuff and uh, talking about some other features of this little guy. But I'm happy with it. It's very interesting and uh, pretty interesting to see that piece. So, alrighty, cool. Well, I'll leave you guys with that today. I'm gonna package this up and uh, yeah, just if you're dealing with pieces like this, there she goes. She's dropping back down now. Now that I got away from that piece, um, if you're handling pieces like this, just, you know, wear gloves and uh, a mask if you're going to be, if you cut anything, don't get the dust. I'll talk more about that kind of stuff later, but uh, pretty cool. All right, see you guys next time.